necessity is the mother of invention. For the Brits, with their long, wet winters, a full suspension bike isn't always the best tool on muddy, wet trails. They're full of nooks and crannies where mud and dirt will accumulate, making them expensive maintenance headaches. And because of that, the UK has a high concentration of companies that sell aggressive hardtails. Slack, aggressive, burly, and most appealing is that they are some of the best value bikes out there. Where many American manufacturers treat the hardtail as an entry-level cross-country afterthought, the British put a lot of R&D into bikes made for the drink a pint and start a fight crowd. Job is called Milk Jamaica! Rowdy hardtails are awesome, so let's take a look at five British hardtails. Well, technically four. One was originally French, but it's British owned now, so we'll include it. Here we go. The Vitus Sentier has always had a reputation for being a great value for the money, and it's developed quite a loyal following. At just under $1,700, the spec sheet does not disappoint. Sentier comes in both 27.5 and 29 versions. The Sentier gets a 140mm Fox 34 rhythm fork coupled with a full 12-speed Shimano Dior 6100 group set. The wheel set is made up of WTB rims made it to Vitus branded hubs. The wheels are wrapped in Schwalbe Magic Marys up front and Hans Dompse in the rear. The brakes are a coin flip between the Shimano MT520 or the SRAM DB8s. Both are four piston brakes. The bike also comes with the Brand X Ascend dropper. Five small bikes get a 100mm dropper, medium gets a 125mm dropper, and large and extra large get 150mm dropper. The size small is only available in 27.5. Sentier's geometry is getting a bit dated relative to its competitors. Reach is relatively short with the 29er having a 428mm reach for the size medium and a 446mm reach for the size large. The head tube is more conservative at 66.5 degrees for the 29er and 66 degrees for the 27.5 version. The seat tube is relatively slack at 73 degrees. Chain stays are relatively short for their respective wheel sizes. Is the data geometry bad? No, not really. Longer and slacker doesn't always mean more fun. There are a lot of things to like about this bike. You have a very good spec for the money. Solid choice specking the Fox 34 Rhythm. And you get a very wide range drivetrain. And the frame is a proven design that's well loved by many. The cons. If you're fussy about geometry, the geo of this bike is getting a little long in the tooth. The mystery surprise brake set will leave you guessing which brand you'll have. The last con is getting your hands on one of these can be a challenge since this version regularly sells out. Next, we head over to Nukeproof to check out the newly redesigned Scout. Nukeproof has redesigned the Scout for 2022. The aluminum framed hardtail is Nukeproof's most popular model and there are build specs to appeal to everyone from the budget-minded to the hardcore enthusiast. The bike comes in both 27.5 and 29er versions. 29er only comes in a size medium and up. Both versions have been similarly updated and we'll touch on the 27.5 version here. The updated geometry gives us a longer and slacker scout with reach increased to 446 millimeters in the size medium and 463 millimeters in the size large. The head tube angle has been slackened by half a degree to 64 and a half degrees. Nukeproof now gives us progressive chainstay length. This means that each size will have a chainstay that is size specific. This makes for a more balanced bike across all sizes. And the cherry on top is the bike uses the UDH, or the Universal Derailleur Hanger. This will make sourcing a replacement hanger much easier. Kudos to Nukeproof for this upgrade. For this video, we're going to look at the $2,200 Comp model. Like many of the weld spec bikes in this price, you get a 140mm Marzocchi Bomber Z2 fork. The drivetrain here is the full 12-speed Shimano Dior from cranks to cassette. 
and the cassette is a wide 10 to 51 tooth. The brakes are also from Shimano. You get Dior 6120 four piston brake, mated to a 203 millimeter rotor up front and a 180 millimeter rotor in the back. The dropper on this bike is the Brandex Ascend, and it's specced appropriately for size. With small bikes getting 125 mil, medium get 150, large gets 170, and the XL gets a whopping 200 millimeter drop. The wheels are Nukeproof Neutron V2, which are a decent set of wheels with respectable 10 degrees of engagement. The wheels are wrapped in Schwalbe rubber, Magic Mary's up front, Hans Dampf in the rear. The remaining finishing kit is all Nukeproof. So many pros for this bike. Very thoughtful improvement in geometry, which makes this bike perfect for aggressive riders. It's ready for that aggressive riding right out of the box with an excellent suspension, drivetrain, and finishing kit. You don't need to change a single part if you don't want to. And if you don't like the part spec, you can just buy the frame and build your own. I really can't think of any negatives here. If anything, I wish the bike was equipped with the higher engagement Nukeproof Horizon wheels, but I'm getting greedy now. The next bike. Holy shit. This is the On One Hello Dave. No idea where the name of this bike comes from, and frankly, it doesn't matter. This bike is a weapon of mass trail destruction. The $1,900 Hello Dave is a 4130 steel hardtail frame that is designed to be a downhill rocket sled. Reach numbers start at 450 millimeters for a medium and go to 520 millimeters for the size extra large. The head angle is a very slack 62 degrees. The C2 bangle, a very steep 77 degrees. And the chain stays are long. Let's not sugarcoat it, they're massively long at 458 millimeters. You'll have a ton of bike fore and aft as you blast down steep chunks. All this results in a massively long bike at 1,261 millimeters on a size medium. The bike comes in three sizes, medium through extra large. And the sizing range is very broad thanks to the low seat tube. This means riders as short as five foot three will fit this bike. There are two spec levels available for this bike. We're looking at the $1,919 Hello Dave SRAM GX version. As the name implies, this is a SRAM slash RockShox heavy spec. Your $1,900 gets you the plush and reliable RockShox Pike Select with 150 millimeters of travel. You get SRAM G2R brakes with 203 millimeter rotor up front and 180 mil rotor in the rear. You get a RockShox Reverb Stealth Dropper with 175 mil a drop. SRAM GX Eagle group set with the exception of the cassette which is NX Eagle and 11 to 51 tooth. Wheels are WTB rims made it to Formula Hubs. The tires are Panaracer Fire Sports. You'll want to swap these for something much better. Overall, a very solid spec for the cost. Oh, and if you thought that spec was ridiculous, for $2,700 you get a Lyric Ultimate Fork, upgraded tires, and a full wireless GX Axis drivetrain. Yeah, Axis. Axis is every OEM's excuse to charge you $10,000 for a bike. Here, $2,700. That's impressive. The pros. Oh, so many pros here. Super aggressive, hardcore hardtail specced with solid parts. You'll be hard pressed to find another downhill capable hardtail like this bike for the money. The closest bike geometry wise that I could find is the Cro-Mag Dr. Hawk, a Canadian made frame that costs almost as much as this whole bike. Believe it or not, there are cons, not many, but they exist. This bike will be a handful for shorter riders on slow tech in my opinion. 29 inch wheels coupled with the long chainstay will make it hard for a shorter rider to maneuver this bike. The SRAM G2 brakes would not be my first choice for this bike's intended use. They are certainly capable, but there are better options out there. The stock tires need replacement. Luckily, you can opt to upgrade the tires when you order. The bike is only available through Planet X bikes, so your eggs are solely in this single basket. If it's any comfort, Planet X has been around for some time and offers some pretty inexpensive products and is quite popular in the UK. 
At least I'm told. The next 29er on the list brings us back from the brink of extreme to something a little more versatile. The Ragley Big Al is Ragley's aluminum frame 29er. Essentially a 29er version of the 27.5 Marley. The geometry of this bike is designed to give you a nimble ride for a 29er with a nice balance of climbing and descending. Head angle is 65 and a half degrees. Chain stay length is relatively short at 435 millimeters. Heat angle is 74 degrees. Sizing is medium to extra large. So size small riders, you'll want to consider the Marley. There are two spec levels and a frame only option. The best value for the cost is the $1,899 Big Al 1.0. Like many of the high value bikes on this list, the 1.0 comes with a 140mm Marzocchi Bomber Z2. It really does serve as the heart of a well performing value bike. The group set is mostly 11 speed Shimano Dior. Supply chain issues mean it's a potluck on the crank set, either a Dior 5100 or a race face ride. Same with the cassette, you get either a Dior cassette or a DTS brand cassette. The wheels are nuke-proof neutron hubs attached to WTB rims, respectable wheels with decent rear hub engagement. Covering the wheels are the ever-versatile Maxxis Minion DHF and DHR combo. Stopping those wheels are the new SRAM DV8 4-piston hydraulic disc brakes. These are a budget version of the SRAM codes and they use mineral oil instead of corrosive dot fluid. Floppy bleeders rejoice. The dropper post is the Brand X Ascend. 150 mil on the medium, 170 mil on the large and extra large. The remaining finishing kit is Ragley and Nuke Proof branded. This is another bike ready to go out of the box with solid suspension, drivetrain, and wheels. To top it off, you have one of the nicest, most nimble, and supple 29er hardtails available on the market. The C-tube angle is a little slack by today's standards, but then again, this bike is a great performer as is. There is no size small Big L, which is not shocking for a 29er. The Ragley Marley is the 27.5 version and is available in a size one. The coin toss on the cassette could leave you with a DTS brand cassette that nobody's ever heard of. Despite the fact that this bike is named after a song by Hansen, this bike is anything but bubblegum pop. The Umbop is a long and slack aluminum frame designed around a 150mm travel fork. The bike's strong suit is descending, which is reflected in the Umbop's 63.8 degree head tube angle. Reach numbers are in what I consider the sweet spot of confidence and maneuverability with a 440mm reach on the size medium and a 460mm reach on the size large. The chainstay is nice and short at 425mm. This is an ideal bike for park riding. The value spec here is the $1,899 Mbop 2.0. This spec is similar to the big gal we just looked at, but here we get a 150mm Bomber Z2. 11-speed Shimano Dior shifter and derailleur made it to a race face ride crank set. The cassette will be a coin toss between the Shimano Dior or the DTS branded cassette. The rest of the spec again is the same as the big gal, so I won't list everything again. The more expensive Mbop 1.0 comes with a RockShox Yari and a 12-speed drivetrain. In my opinion, the extra $500 you'd spend on the 1.0 versus the 2.0 is better spent elsewhere. The Yari uses the antiquated motion control damper. You can pick up a 2022 Lyric Select for under $500 at some retailers right now, and it has a superior damper in every way. The Pros. Another wonderfully nimble and capable bike ready to go right out of the box. The Cons. Really nothing that hasn't been said already about the Big Al. Perhaps the lack of a comparable aluminum 29er version for those that prefer 29 inch wheels, but we all know it wouldn't be as fun. Both the Big Al and the Umbop are available in frame only options for custom builds. The Ragley Umbop is Badoobadop, Badoobadop. Ba -do -ba -dop. Oh yeah. I hope you found this video helpful. Please hit the like button and subscribe. And thanks for watching.